Interesting facts about famous people. Clint Eastwood's Worst Movies, According to Audiences. Clint Eastwood has filled theatre seats and may go down in film history as a better director than an actor, with four Academy Awards to his name, including two Best Director Oscars and several more nominations. When your career spans eight decades, not every movie can be a fistful of dollars or unforgiven. If you like this video, come and see my many other videos on my channel. The link is in the description. Apologies up front for any mispronunciations of names. Today, we will look at some of the duds as an actor in front of the camera. According to audiences that voted via Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb, obviously these results are recent and these sites were not around at the time of most of these movies. We also have our own opinions. I'm sure these results won't change your own opinions. I do note that only one of these kind of fall in the Western genre. Just for fun. Let's get into it. Paint Your Wagon, 1969. Rotten Tomatoes, 27%. IMDb, 6.6. .6. Two unlikely prospector partners share the same wife in a California gold rush mining town. Eastwood and Lee Marvin singing. Who asked for that? Audience enjoyed this story on Broadway, where it had 289 performances, but most critics weren't impressed by the film version. One called it a long ordeal. Unfortunately, Paint Your Wagon came at a time when big budget musicals were going out of vogue. The expenses of this film nearly bankrupted Paramount, and it was many years before the studio recouped its investment. City Heat, 1984. Rotten Tomatoes, 22%, IMDb, 5.5. Buddy movies were a big thing in the 80s, and casting two huge box office draws like Eastwood and Burt Reynolds, Red Hot from the series of Cannonball Run and Smokey and the Bandit films, must have seemed like a no-brainer. Not so much with this film. Variety called it an amiable but decidedly lukewarm confection geared entirely around the two star turns. Roger Ebert asked, how do travesties like this get made? As bad as this movie is, at the same time, it's almost easy to recommend, just so people can see how bad a movie can be, even with strong talent. This is the type of film that makes you scratch your head and wonder what they were thinking, but I'd love to hear Eastwood try to put a spin on this. When was the last Any which way you can, 1980. Rotten Tomatoes, 20%. IMDb, 6.1. A trucker turned prize fighter, his brother and their pet orangutan, have a series of misadventures involving the mob, corrupt cops, motorcycle gangs, and pretty dames. Ruth Gordon and the orangutan are the best thing about this sequel to Any Which Way But Loose. Though it's said the film is not very good, it's hard not to feel a grudging affection for it. It's lowbrow stuff, but a lot of that kind of humour was big in the 70s and early 80s. Pink Cadillac, 1989. Rotten Tomatoes, 20%, IMDb, 5.3. A bounty hunter, Eastwood, chases a bail jumper, Bernadette Peters, before eventually falling for her. Rolling Stone called it an overlong, undercooked action comedy made out of retool parts from other film vehicles. Pink Cadillac is one of those films which seems to owe their existence to a scriptwriter or studio executive noticing a catchy song title, thinking it too good to waste on a mere song and concocting a film script to fit it. See also Pretty Woman, Sweet Home Alabama, Addicted to Love, Jumping Jack Flash, and others. At least the film does actually feature a pink Cadillac. Revenge of the Creature, 1955. Rotten Tomatoes, 13%. IMDb, 5.6. Men capture the creature from the Black Lagoon and make him an aquarium attraction from which he escapes. You can't really blame Clint for this one. This was one of Eastwood's first roles, mostly uncredited, in a series of forgettable films before his breakout success as Rowdy Yates in Rawhide and The Wandering Gunfighter in A Fistful of Dollars. Variety called the sequel to Creature from the Black Lagoon a routine shocker that doesn't get much of a boost from the 3D treatment. While I'm here, I'd like to know something from you guys. Can you tell me your preferred length of video? I'm trying to hone in on what you like and implement some changes, so feel free to suggest improvements. 
I have already made some changes based on your feedback. Thanks in advance. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. They help me a lot. Also hit the notification button to get my new videos. Bye for now. Thank you.